Hey class, this is Lieutenant Commander Streepec. Um, I've been making some videos for you guys to help you understand some of the concepts that we've um, been learning in nav class, knife, knife nav class. So um, this this uh, video I'm making is getting the latitude and longitude from a point. So the the video I just made, um, which you guys may have just seen or not, but um, was making um, or was finding the um, position off of a vortex or, or a navigational aid. So it's the the previous scenario was the zero nine zero at forty two nautical miles from the plane, and so you converted um, the radial to a true radial. So it was like zero nine three at forty two, and then you plotted your position. So we had us um, over here at Groveton Trinity. Well. Um, say that they don't give you the answer as groped in Trinity, they give you a bunch of lat latitude and longitude. So now you have to go find the latitude and longitude. Well, that's not too bad. So all we have to do now is um, use our plotter and uh, basically uh, line up on the point, right? So um, say, well, we knew it was in the, like kind of the right side of the field, but we'll just go with the middle of the field. Um, so we'll do, oh sorry, we'll do latitude first. So we have to find our reference line. So there's 31 degrees north. So we know what's, you know, we go up from there. You can count up. And so we have the number of tick marks uh, line up the same on both sides of the plotter. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, so we know that the latitude, we'll write it right here, is 31 degrees and 5 minutes north. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to um, get our longitude. So we're going to go ahead and turn this sideways now and do the same exact thing. So we'll just line up again, same number of tick marks above it and below it. Um, you can't, oh yeah, you can. So, um, so I have 10 minutes down here at the bottom. I'm going to make sure I got 10 at the top, and I do. Cool. That works out perfectly. Um, something else you can do too if you're having a hard time looking at the number of tick marks because there's a lot of congestion. So I'll give you an example. So say you're, you're trying to measure something down here. In Houston, the um, sometimes those tell actually this is a lot easier, but sometimes the tick marks are not easy to see. These are actually easy to see, but when you have a lot of those obstructions uh, along these lines of long, longitude and latitude, um, something you can do as well is, um, and, and this is really what the the um, the book is telling you to do too. So I'm not like doing anything different than what the book is telling you, but you want to make sure that you line up your perpendicular line on the line of uh, latitude or longitude, whatever you're trying to measure. And um, so that gives you the most um, basically parallel line to longitude or latitude, depending on what you're trying to measure. So um, that gives you the straightest line you can do uh, if you can't measure the number of tick marks. So this one you can. So you have 10 here at the top, 10 at the bottom. And so that's what we have. So it's 0, 0.95 degrees, 10 minutes west. Okay. And so, yeah, the two ways you can do it is count the number of tick marks on both sides. And uh, or you can make sure you line up the um, straight edge uh, on latitude. And then the per perpendicular line is lined up exactly on a line of longitude and then you do the same thing for long, for uh, longitude to so switch it and it gives you the same thing cool all right well i hope that helps a little bit and um i hope your studies are going well if you have any questions uh text myself i'm your instructor or your knife instructor that you have now uh hope, hope you guys are doing well